In this video, I will show you an example of maximum power transfer theorem. Previously, I showed you the similar example using superposition theorem. Here, I will show you how to solve this circuit using a more simple technique. Find the value of RL for which the maximum power will be delivered to the load. Also find the value of maximum power that will be delivered to the load. See, we have to find the value of R L for which it will receive maximum power and we have to find the value of that maximum power from maximum power transfer theorem we know that a load resistor R L receives maximum power when the load resistor is equal to Thevenin resistance and the value of maximum power P L max is equal to V T H square over 4 R T H so if I can calculate Thevenin resistance and Thevenin voltage from the circuit, I can calculate maximum power and the value of load resistor for which it will receive maximum power from the load. To calculate the Thevenin resistance of the circuit, at first we have to remove the load resistor RL from the network. After removing the load resistor RL with respect to this terminal and this terminal, we will calculate RTH and VTH. When I will be calculating RTH, we will replace the voltage sources with short circuits and the current sources with open circuits. And when I will be calculating VTH, I will be calculating VTH with respect to these two terminals. So if I replace the voltage sources with short circuits and current sources with open circuit, I will get a circuit like this. Okay. Now see, this is our A terminal and this is B terminal. With respect to this A and B terminals, you will see within this branch, this 5 ohm and this 3 ohm resistances are connected in series and their equivalent series resistance is connected in parallel with this. 2 ohm resistor therefore RTH will be equal to 2 ohm in parallel with the equivalent series resistance of 5 and 3 ohm which is equal to 8 ohm so here RTH will be equal to 2 into 8 over 2 plus 8 this will be equal to 1.6 ohm now see if the load resistance RL is exactly equal to 1.6 ohm the circuit will deliver maximum power to the load resistor RL. Now see, to calculate VTH, we will measure that VTH with respect to A and B terminals. Now see, if you look at A and B terminals, you will see across this A and B terminals, we have this 2 ohm resistance connected in series with this 10 volt voltage source. Now see, if I know the value of current that is flowing through this 2 ohm resistor, let's say I will denote that current with I. If the current enters from this direction, this will be positive and this will be negative. You will see VTH will be the sum of the voltage across this 2 ohm and this 10 volt source. Now see VTH will be equal to minus I into 2 plus 10 because the resistance of 2 ohm and the voltage source of 10 volt are sharing opposite polarity so VTH will be equal to minus I into 10 plus so VTH will be equal to I into 2 plus 10 now see we can reduce this entire circuit to a series circuit by using source transformation theorem we have this 6 ampere current source in parallel with this 5 ohm resistor and from the source transformation theorem we know that if we have a current source in parallel with a resistance we can reduce that to a voltage source in series with the resistance of same value so if i reduce this current source to a voltage source let's say that value of voltage source is vs will be equal to is into rs here is is 6 ampere and rs is equal to 5 
of ohm so it will be 30 volt now see what will be the direction of this vs here the current source is supplying current in downward direction so the negative terminal of vs will be in upward direction and positive terminal will be in downward direction such that we maintain the same current direction in both circuits and we will place this 5 ohm in series with that vs so our enter circuit will look like this you will see this is a total series circuit as this will be series circuit the current will be same all over the network let's say that current is flowing in this direction and that current is equal to i if current i is flowing like this this side will be positive this side will be po negative this side of this 2 ohm will be positive this side will be negative this side of 5 ohm will be positive and this side of 5 ohm will be negative now i can easily apply kvl in this loop I will get plus 20 minus i into 3 minus i into 2 plus 10 minus i into 5 plus 30 equal to 0 from which I will get the total current i in the circuit will be equal to 60 over 10 which will be equal to 6 ampere so the current that is flowing through this 2 ohm is equal to 6 ampere and previously i showed you if i know the value of current through this 2 ohm resistor vth can be calculated by using minus i into 2 plus 10 which will be equal to minus 6 into 2 plus 10 which is equal to minus 2 volt therefore the maximum power that will be delivered to the load resistor will be equal to vth square over 4 rth here if i take the square of this vth it will be equal to 4 over 4 into 1.6 so this will be equal to 0.625 watt pl max in the circuit is equal to 0.625 watt okay that's it thank you